So you're trying to give them the context and the understanding of what's going on within their own knowledge and applying it to what you're trying to do and teaching them what they need to know. One thing I've noticed uh, with our trainees is um, trade jargon or the, the words that we use in a trade context. Uh, a lot of students uh, have a lot of trouble understanding it and putting into contextualising it into the work situation. So what I'm actually doing is I'm doing a glossary and all these words that are very specific to the trade are going in there so the students have got somewhere to go to and they can uh, have a look at this and get a better understanding of uh, what the words mean. The whole system just basically works on them clicking on a word and that will take them to an explanation and then carry that on to possibly YouTube clips to explain it more or diagrams, other websites and that sort of thing. It's a common problem right through from level one uh, to the level four and the level four are the guides that are doing apprenticeships. Uh, we're just trying to make it easier for them to get a better understanding of the trade and what's required from the trade. One important thing I've realised is that when I'm doing this glossary the explanation of the word has got to be simple so it can be easily understood. There's no point in giving a word that, that to some people is a complicated word, in other words it could have various different meanings, to put another word in there that they have no idea of what that means as well. Uh, so it's, you've got to be very, very careful to make sure we put it in the way that the learner, because basically they're the learners, that the learner can understand. Uh, and then they, once they get that understanding, then they can move forward to more complicated words.